Well, I want to welcome everybody to FishyFins.com. Um, today uh, we have Scott Larson. Scott Larson is a pro rep from Impact Lures and also Aqua Dream Spoons, and we're going to be talking about those baits this morning. Uh, Scott has some great information. Uh, he actually tests them. He sends information back to the company and uh, gives them that great feedback that they need to design a bait that works. And uh, so we have Scott on today talking about uh, Impact Lures, uh, how they're designed, how they're made, you know, each one's handmade, the time it takes to make each one. I think uh, he said it's about almost an hour. I believe it's like 45 minutes per bait to make them. And uh, they can actually be custom made. So if you're out there and, and you're fishing, you're a pro fisher, and you need a bait specifically designed the way you want it, these are the people to call, impactlures.com. And also we talk about Aqua Dream Spoons. Uh, they have a great product. Uh, uh, Scott talks about how he fishes the spoons, uh, both with jigging them, pulling them across the flats. Um, really have a great design too. Aqua Dream Spoons, as uh, some whoever's designing them, whoever their artist is, does a fantastic job of mimicking real life bait on the spoons. And it definitely pays off in the way they, uh, the way they produce some trophy bait uh, fish. Uh, matter of fact, if you go to Scott's website, go to the book and type in Scott Larson. It's, uh, his last name is spelled L-A-R-S-E-N, and his first name, of course, Scott, S-C-O-T-T. -T. And uh, he's got some beautiful fish there. Now, we're going to post some pictures on with the, uh, with the uh, interview we do. And uh, so you'll see some video of the pictures of the fish that they're catching. And uh, hopefully I can find also some video of the fish that they're catching to put up, too. So uh, without wasting any more time, let me get right to Scott. We're on the phone with Scott this morning, so uh, let me get right to it. Alrighty, uh, we got uh, Scott Larson here today. Uh, we're going to be talking about Impact Lures and a couple of other uh, uh, sponsors that he has. Uh, great products, great lures. I love them. Uh, you know, everybody knows I'm a big top water fan, and they've got some fantastic top water baits. So uh, I'm going I'm to let Scott take it here this morning. Uh, it's Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day. Happy Easter, happy holidays, everybody, and to you too, Scott. And uh, you go right ahead, my friend. Take it away. All right, good morning, everybody, about Impact Lures. Impact Lures, you gotta check these baits out. Uh, he's got top waters, he's got twitch baits. They're all wood, uh, cedar, uh, maple, all hard, good work with wood. Um, the top waters are really good. He's got prop baits for bass. Uh, he's got walkers for bass, walkers for fresh um, salt water. And uh, the, these baits are really awesome. You gotta try them. Um, his phone number is 561-523-5930. Uh, his webpage is www.impactlures. Just check his website out. He could do any custom bait for you. Uh, just ask him. He's got rattles in his walker baits. He's just starting to put them in. For noise so you have the good action of a walker but you got a little bit of noise you don't have to depend on the hooks and just check his web page out and um, it's just a great product I've been fishing them for about a year now and I've been catching a lot of big red fish snook on the twitch baits and the top waters I've been catching a lot of big big bass on them uh, you just work them on the edge of the bank, especially in ponds. Ponds are really great for this bait. He's got a flick nub prop bait. That's probably my favorite. And you don't have to rip it. You just keep on twitching it just barely. And they just think it's a frog or an injured minnow or whatever. But I've been catching a lot of five, six, seven, eight pound bass on this floor. Oh, very so now that, that's the, Is that that pop and chug I'm looking at under their catalogs here? Yeah, and it's that prop bait. It's a small prop bait, and it's got a little blade in the back. Oh, okay, very nice. Yeah, and you just barely, you know, work it. You don't have to rip it or keep on reeling. You know, some people, you could catch fish like that, but for the bigger ones, you kind of want to slow it down so that you could keep in on that on that bait. Mm -hmm. But they catch a, you see on the page, I've been catching a lot of big, big bass on that bait. And oh, the tournament yeah. guys need to get some of these. Well, actually, I was looking at your trophy page site where you have, I mean, some beautiful, gigantic fish there. I mean, the, the bass are just incredible. In fact, uh, you know, looking at all the baits, I was, I was, I'm at the website right now, and, uh, you know, they have the option under detail and ordering. I mean, such a variety of colors, shapes. Uh, the action of each one you could see is, is unique. 
So uh, really, you know, I'm, I'm looking especially here in Southwest Florida, I play around, you know, Boca Grande out here. And uh, you know, you, you're playing with that redhead, that red and white color has always really worked well. And uh, when anytime we seem to mix up that red and white here in Southwest Florida, you know, it always lands really nice. The snooks seem to love it when you're playing around on high tide out here with that red and white. And, uh, but yeah, they are beautiful, even the bone colors, I mean, you know, they just work so well here. But yeah, very awesome. Uh, yeah, and looking at the sites, uh, like you said, it's it just uh, it goes on and on. You could call uh, call Impact Lures up and say, you know what, I like that shape, I like that color, but can you add a little glitter? Can you add a little of this? Can you do that? And that that's just incredible. Yeah, and it's the bait. I caught so many. I caught this one lure. I caught it's my favorite one. You'd ask him about it for bass. Mm -hmm. It's like my favorite color. But you get any color you want. But I caught over 150, 160 bass on it and an alligator. Didn't mean to catch the alligator. <laughs> but no scratch. It had a little scratch over, but it, it took a lot. I mean, it, these baits are tough. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he puts on them. It's not a cheap paint job, but it's a lot. It's really good. I mean, I didn't have a mark on it till the alligator you know it's just a, a little scratch but <laughs> sure sure man, I mean, boy. <laughs> yeah and the trout you know the, the front teeth they're you know they usually scrape you know the top waters and crack them oh yeah and, and we've been catching big trout on them lures and not a scratch on them oh yeah i was actually watching you know they have a lot of they have some great video too so if you go to impactlures.com uh, click on the media link and uh, they've got some really nice video when they actually show you know the whole process how they make the lure the final layering of, of i'm not sure what kind of laminate they use uh, but it's obviously a nice clear coat they put over there that's strong as like you say just tough as nails and uh, you know that that's what you need i've played with a lot of lords you could buy you know at discount shops uh, and nationally uh, known brands and i can't tell you how many times I've, I've gone out there and after two or three fish you know the side of the lure just peels right off of it i mean it literally pulled the lure up out of the water and the side of the lure is hanging off the back of it and i went wow oh, damn <laughs> what happened here but yeah you're right i mean the, the, these uh, impact lures are just really quality baits well made uh, each one handmade i mean incredible yeah he takes his time with it um i think each bait is 45 minutes to put together oh wow and th then he hand paints them like it, you see on the video mm -hmm. and uh he really take. and then if you have any problems just give him a call about the bait or anything mm -hmm. and you know it, it, he'll help you out well it, it's not you know just the quality alone but you know if you look at the pricing now if you get on on to some of these websites and look at some of these what, are, what they refer to as real life type of uh you know designer baits you know artificial baits uh they start at 15 dollars and go up and uh, like you say you know there's no you know, there's nobody to call up and go hey you know this thing uh, i don't like this action i'm not sure about this hook or you know <laughs> you, you just got to buy it and hope for 15 20 bucks you got a good product but you know i'm looking at prices here like the chop pop, uh top chopper uh 1049 i mean that's a great price on a large bait i mean that's, that's actually you know that's a nice size bait to get for that price and uh you know you're playing with anything that's going to be a uh, you know above a three two inch uh, bait you know usually you're talking about a lot of money for this type of handmade real life looking bait so that, that's just awesome i love it yeah because you, you could go on the other he's cheaper than everybody else like high roller or something like that you're talking about 20 bucks for a plug you sure. know yeah it does and, add up quick boy it's unbelievable yeah and that adds up and all you gotta do is change out these hooks on these lures you know and they they just keep on that as long as you don't throw in the tree or you know mm -hmm. or break off like i lost my favorite lure the other day on a big bass but oh, you no. know <laughs> it happens but you know <laughs> well the, the, you know you got a good lure though so you can go back and replace that one with confidence you know <laughs> exactly and I, you know he's like well hurry up work them other baits you know and i it's kind of hard the, the get away from that one, my uh, it's my favorite. That top water, mm -hmm. it, I, I I can't. I love top water, and you said the same thing. And Absolutely. it's hard to get away from it. Well, you know, when you get something that works, I think that's probably the hardest hardest thing for you guys, because you know I'm sure that you know Impact Wars contacts you, and they want to know what works, they want to know what's not. Uh, I mean, in essence, you guys are testing these baits for them. And, uh, you know, was, you get something really good that works, and yeah, I could imagine, you know, they call you up and go, hey, you know, I know that works great, it's fantastic, and but well, we need you to try this one. And so, you know, you gotta get out there and go, oh, I gotta give up my favorite bait here for a little while. But uh, yeah, I yeah, know exactly. 
Exactly, because these um these companies they get they send me stuff and hey Scott, test these out, grade it, and uh, see what you like. You know, uh, try to help them out, uh, make it better. Oh yeah. And uh, well, you know that's any good did. product, Scotty. I'll tell you what, any good product, you you got to get user feedback and you got to get somebody out there that you know knows the water, the fish, and knows how to work the bait and and can give you good quality feedback. And uh, for them, it's got to be absolutely invaluable information, you know, to produce a, a bait that you guys actually zero in on. And, you know, yeah, we're doing good, but if you did this, we'd probably do a little better. And they do it, and it does better. So, you know, fantastic feedback leads to quality baits like these, absolutely. Yes, he's got it. People all over Florida, it's just not tested in my area. I'm. It's tested everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, in his area on this side all the way down up in jacksonville alabama mm -hmm. he's got he's got places everywhere where these baits are going really good mm -hmm. and uh the bass tournament guys are you really need to get these baits because uh, these bass haven't saw these baits and you throw something different with a different action out there you're, you're gonna you're gonna land a lot of bass and then you're gonna get some trophies out of it too oh yeah yeah definitely and, and the colors and shapes i mean looking at the frog and the shad and these other ones baby bass i mean the baby bass looks just just incredible so you know like you say the colors and the shapes give you a variety of local you know match the hatch the local bait that the fish are eating here it looks like them it acts like them and uh you know by by god they they hit them uh, <laughs> that's that's what works yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, they, they're really good baits. Now, I was looking, too, uh, at their catalog. i tell you what else I really liked. Uh, just going down there, that, that jump frog that they just introduced, I saw that on uh, Facebook, and I got to checking it out. And that's a pretty cool-looking bait. Uh, have you tried that yet with the bass up there? No, he he hasn't sent it to me yet. I haven't tried it yet, but he has. He's uh -huh. been catching a lot of five- and six-pounders on it. Well, I, I, I could see that because it is a beautiful, you know, it combines and you're looking at the spots he put on there, you know, they got those little uh, frog warts on there and it's yeah. got that, you know, he's got red, blue, uh, green. I mean, it's really a nice combination of colors and, and the tail is awesome. That he's been catching a lot of, a lot of big fish in Okeechobee area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they've been catching seven and eight pound bass on that lure. Boy, I could imagine. Like I said, it is a beautiful bait. I mean, it looks it looks absolutely like it would kill. So <laughs> I'd love yeah. to try that one out down here. He's got a the, he's got a minnow. It wobbles real good. But it's real good bait. I've been catching. You can see it on the big bass's uh, in its mouth when I got the little impact sticker on. Oh, is that the uh, the little Benny? Yeah, yeah. But he, that one's a little bit bigger. He made that one for salt water, but okay. it's it's actually for bass i mean the bass is really they eat that one up it's got a great great wobble to it mm -hmm. uh you could catch a lot of bass on that lord that's probably one of, another one of my favorites and they're really good yeah you could definitely see just the shape of it too is just beautiful i love it well you know everything when you look at like i said you look at these products i mean they're all designed specifically to work that action for that bait i mean it's just great yeah and i, I caught a lot of eight and nine pound bass off that one it's pretty neat because you just reel it all you do is reel it slow mm -hmm. and just watch that action and it kind of tips over to the side when it's wobbling and it's flashing oh very nice and, and it, it gives you that silhouette you know that silhouette mm -hmm. and um they kill it and you could yo-yo it you know and it floats back to the surface it's a really good bait but it, you just reel it slow, and all of a sudden, all you do is feel it stop, and there's something big on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's it, kind of fun. You know, even, you know, looking at it uh, on all the baits I'm looking at here, these are all the hard lures, and all of them have, you know, the big eyes that you really want. So, like you say, when it turns sideways, you know, the fish coming up or looking underneath, you know, it is a really a realistic looking bait. Uh, they see the eyes, they see the, you know, the gill and the scale marks. And uh, so, yeah, like you say, that's just, uh, all of them are really designed well. I love them. Yeah, they're really good. Everybody's got a need to try them. I mean, they're really trophy. Anything that's going to catch big fish, I want it, you know? Well, i tell you what I'm going to order from them. I'm going to do it this weekend. And uh, I'm looking at it now, and I've been looking at it since I started talking to you a couple of weeks ago about these baits. And I've been thinking, man, I really want this bait. And it's a shallow diver crank bait. It's the purple one. And uh, I'm going to get it with foil, I think. But I love that color. Uh, boy, it's just awesome. 
So I'm yeah, definitely going to go over on that. the other coast, he catches a lot of trout, smoke, and redfish on that one. He does really well on that. Oh, yeah, Have I can you seen see. the pinfish one? I haven't tested that one out yet, okay, but everybody's see. been catching big fish off that one, too. Is that right? Yeah, I'll definitely try it. I want to, you know, all these, I hate it when I start looking at lures like this because I want all of them and I just don't have time to fish them all. You know, you, you, you get a lure, you got to spend about two, three solid days of doing nothing but throwing that bait. And uh, I, I kind of get a little greedy sometimes and buy a few of them. It's kind of like Christmas morning. I just can't stop. <laughs> you know, and, uh, I know, you just want to fill up that taco box because they're, they're, they're great. Well, I tell you what, I'm even looking at the bottom. I mean, they actually have a, an ultimate popper kit you could buy that has different color poppers in it that all come together. Nice combination. So you're really, for, for five baits, for I think it's 45 bucks is the, uh, the list here. That's awesome. I mean, those are nice sized baits too. So you could actually get, you know, go ahead and buy a few of them at a time and have them all shipped at once, save some money on shipping. So that's awesome. Yeah, he's got saltwater like saltwater kits and a freshwater kit down there, and, uh, and the twitch baits. The twitch baits are really good. The twitch baits. I've been catching. I tried this new color out yesterday, and I caught eight bass. They wasn't very big, mm -hmm. but it it was twelve o'clock in the afternoon. You know, oh, and it's yeah. raining, messy. If I would have went out there early, would have caught bigger fish. But I, I go in different times and test these baits out. Mm -hmm and caught like eight bass in an hour and i don't know six or seven big bluegill on the same bait oh very nice very nice yeah matter of fact i was just talking yesterday i was talking to some guys in the uh the local kayaking club up here at the Clusahatchee, and uh he was mentioning that he was going out looking for bluegill and uh, he just couldn't find any up there i guess they have a tilapia problem up there they had a uh, tilapia farm up there someplace around uh, Okeechobee and a few of them okay. got out and, and it's kind of wiped things out there but uh, yeah, I'll tell you I'm going to tell him about this because he might be able to find some bluegill around there with the right bait you know he might just be using the wrong bait so <laughs> yeah, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe how they hit it you know I never had a, a bluegill you know everything attacked this bait I guess it looks like a little minnow mm -hmm. or a smaller pin um bluegill or something but oh, yeah. it, they were attacking it i mean they're hand size well that's a, know, it's and nice uh, it's a two and three quarter inch bait uh, i'm reading a website here right now it's a twitch bait slow sinking twitch bait and yeah uh, it, it sinks real slow mm -hmm. and um you could work it on the top of the water or let it sink a little bit and mm -hmm. kind of twitch it and make it go side to side but you just don't overwork it, but it, it works really well. It, I, I love that bait. It catches everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, and I think the overworking thing is for everything. I have a bad habit of doing that. Uh, you know, you kind of get excited, even especially top water. Uh, it could be kind of hard to slow things down. You, you know, you start get going. You see a fish over there on the left. You threw to the right, and I got to get my bait over there. So yeah, you, you, you got to definitely be patient with a lot of these. And you know what? A bait like this that's made right, you don't have to work it. Uh, you just have to really keep a good steady reel, a, a good action going. Uh, you know, have a little rhythm when you're when you're reeling it in. And the bait does its it does its own thing. I mean, it's designed specifically to work and attract fish. So it's you know just great. Yeah, it's, I tell people when they're on my boat all the time, you know, hey, slow that down just a little bit, and then they get hit, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, just got to watch the fish what they want. You know, you don't want to overwork it, especially in salt water, because you, you get a lot of ladyfish and jacks and stuff like that. Um, that's You slow it down, you get the better fish. You get the trout, the redfish, and the snug. You start ripping a lure across the water, you're going to attract them other fish you don't want yep you know you're absolutely right you know and i never really thought about it that right that way but uh you, matter of fact a couple of weeks ago i was fishing with my uh, my dad outside of alligator creek down here and i was doing exactly what you said i had a bone on and uh i'm reeling it in and i was just you know getting excited out there it's a little bit choppy so i was pulling it in a little bit faster than i usually do and kept yep. getting you know kept getting those damn uh, ladyfish now they're fun ladyfish but when you're out there fishing for a good fish you don't want them and so, uh, I, you know, I literally, you know, Scotty, I slowed it down and uh, I actually started going to like two thumps and let it sit, two thumps, let it sit and got a beautiful redfish, uh, probably within about four casts when I slowed it down. Uh, so you, you're right. It makes a big difference in the speed of uh, the way you work that bait of what kind of fish is going to hit it. That's for sure. Yeah, the, they just don't want to chase it. Uh, a redfish is actually kind of lazy, just like a bass. They don't want to, you know, kind of 
do all that energy for nothing, mm -hmm. you know? Now, a trout is a different story, but he he don't like that solid, you know, just hauling butt with it, too. But mm -hmm. sometimes you can do it, but most of the time you work it slow and have a little bit of procure on the end of it, mm -hmm. and that's what happens. Then they kill it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the procure works great. Those, all those, uh, those scents, I like the blue crab. I use that a lot. I don't know what it is, but this year... Um, the, the the fish seem to love crabs. I just it, whether it's fiddle, fiddle uh, excuse me, fiddle or fiddle or I can't do this guy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, that's right. Fiddle, fiddle crabs. Fiddle, there you go. Those little <laughs> crabs that run around on the beach. Whether it's those or yeah. the blue crabs, uh, you know the sheep said they're hitting the fiddlers. The uh, the blue crabs are great with the reds and the smoke. But uh, you know it, it's unbelievable uh, when you think about that, that that type of working the bait like we were just talking about. You know a big fish like a snook or a red. Uh, you know, Mother Nature itself designed these fish not to expend too much energy compared to the amount of calories that they're taking in. So, uh, you know, you get these skinny fish like bluefish and mackerel and ladyfish. I mean, they'll dart around and eat bait and spend all day and night just shooting around eating bait. Now, these big fat ones, you know, the reds, the smoke, uh, even the big fat trout uh, that are sitting out there, you know, they're just not going to burn up a whole lot of calories, no, no more calories than they're going to get from that fish that they're going to eat. So uh, you start working that bait too fast, uh, you know, Mother Nature herself looked at it and went, you know, no, no, you'll never ever get the calories out of that bait that you're going to expend trying to chase it down and catch it. And so you're absolutely right. The speed of the bait makes a huge difference when you're catching those big game fish. Yeah, and plus, you know, the bait, you know, ladyfish and bluefish, they're, you know, they're actually bait for the other, you know, so they got to run, you yep. know, <laughs> and trout in there, they got their own camouflage, they just sit in the grass and hide, mm -hmm. except flipper, you know, when flipper comes through, and <laughs> yeah, redfish oh, yeah. are just, they get up in the mangroves, but, you know, the, but the, they have to run and be speedy like that, too. Yep, that's for sure. Yeah, I love putting that crab uh, scent on my Aqua Dream spoons, too, from Mike. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. As a matter of fact, I was looking at those spoons. I was checking one out. Uh, you posted a picture on your trophy site that was really cool. Let me find that. Uh, somebody was fishing with one of those spoons. Those are really neat, uh, very unique, too. I like the design and pattern on them. Yeah, the crab spoon is brand new, and I can't wait. I haven't tried it yet, but all the spoons are great. Uh, I can't help it, but I have to put the procure on it. And mostly the spoon acts like a crab. You know, if you mm -hmm. crawl it slow, you, you can fish it around the oyster beds. Just, you know, people just overwork that bait too. Um, just slow it down, mm -hmm. try to bump it into to something, you know, without getting stuck. Yeah, it, it works like a bait fish, a crab. I caught so many big red fish. My son, Steven, when, he, when I first took him to IFA Redfish Tour, he was 10 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, the first one we fished, it was in Jacksonville. He was throwing that all day. It was 26 degrees outside, raining. It was cold. It was nasty. Mm -hmm. And I was throwing everything. And Mike sent me them baits, and, the, and we're like, well, let's try them baits out. We started catching fish, you know. Awesome. And... Steven landed like a seven and a half pounder, and um, we almost won that tournament. On and that was our first tournament. We had a good time, but and I've been throwing them spoons ever since, especially when they're schooling. Uh, that is that is a really good bait. Oh yeah, you could see even the, you know the attraction of spoons. You know they're spinning, they're making noise, they're reflecting. I mean, just reflecting light. And you know there's something about the design of the crab that they put on there too. It's it's so it's a very very realistic image of a crab on the top of it. So the reflection I, I'd had to assume is very realistic, especially if you're jigging it. And uh, you know I love jigging spoons. Uh, I'll take you know one of those uh, uh, top poppers, one of those. Uh, uh, you know the foam bobbers and uh, yes. just you know pop the center of it out and just run a line with an eye in the bottom of it so I could actually get into about 10 foot of water and work the spoon up and down using the bobber as kind of a, a, a fulcrum out there and it, you know oh, keep okay. that up and down action really nice so you're not actually pulling it right toward the boat on an angle it kind of goes up and over up and over and uh, you, they do great you're so right uh, you know on the shawls uh, on the drop of the shawls even coming across the flats they're just spoons I love I grew up on spoons. I love them. 
Yeah, and they're just great when you're pulling it through the weeds and stuff, when you're red fishing and sight fishing. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you can crawl it and he'll chase it down and just drop it in the sand hole and, and then, you know, reel it back out. And that's when they usually crush it, you know. Oh, yeah. But, uh, and the smallest redfish I caught on that spoon is 25 inches, and then it goes up. Very nice. So I'm really happy to, to support that spoon, and he helps me out with the tournaments and everything. And oh my, it's just great. It, every tournament we go to, we catch usually the biggest fish on his spoon. Very nice. You know, I'm looking at his. He has a, a Aqua Dream Inc. Facebook site where he has some pictures of the spoons at, at, at work here. And boy, these these redfish are enormous. I'm looking at. And as a matter of fact, uh, he's got a really cool spinner that's got a little salty dog, like a, a jig head with a little minnow body on it, and it looks yeah, really nice. Yeah, I think that's with Z-Man, too. And uh, the Colorado Blade uh, one's really good for all over. Yeah, it, it, he's got a Colorado Blade. It's, it's uh, a little uh, smaller spinner bait, and that one's a great one, too. Take a look at that. I'm actually going to go to their site here and because uh, let's see here it is Aqua Dream Spoons. But let me see here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yep, I remember this. I went through this about two days ago checking out these spoons. Yeah, they got some quality stuff here. The Blue Crab Weedless Spoon, very nice, yep. Yeah, and the white one's the white one's really good, and I like the black spoon. Mm-hmm. He's got the classic spoons too, I like. Uh, it's just a spoon, and a, uh, you, you see a little sticker in the middle. Yep. Actually, I catch a lot of big trout on the white one. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, the, the white one, I catch a lot of trophy trout and redfish. That's actually what Stephen caught that big redfish on. Oh, beautiful. Every term, he caught one in Jacksonville, and then he caught one, and he saved us to go to the championship. Um, and Ruskin, he caught... I lost six redfish, and then he turns around and catches, a, you know, a little small one, and it made us go to the championship. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Very That's nice. pretty funny, ain't it? Oh, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> yeah. look, this is a nice variety, too. I mean, I'm actually looking at all, you know, the different colors and varieties they have and the combination of blades and spinners with, uh, with jigs. And just uh, really a nice variety, and and like I said, you know, the the crab, the minnows, he has some pinfish. I mean, the the likeness is incredible. Whoever did the artwork on these really did a nice job. Yeah, and if he you have any problems with that, just give him a call or go to his w- website www aqua dream spoon, mm-hmm. and he'll replace it or you know anything anything happens to spoon. And he's got good. BMC hooks on them too. Change the hooks on them because Redfish got when they crush that bay, they could you know they can break hooks, they can do oh, everything, yeah. but they're not having no problems with that. Uh, they stay together. Other spoons I used, I, I had the hook spray. Mm-hmm. One you know fishing one time out there, they start to rust. Oh yeah. And you can even you know wash them off, and they they still start rusting around the hook. These baits don't. You know, I and I forget to wash them, and they're still clean. Yep, absolutely. I know exactly what you're talking about. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at right now the uh, Flats Candy Popper. Um, they've got that with the flat head on it. Uh, looks like a great bait. Make a little bit of noise when you're pulling it through the water. I mean, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah, he's got soft plastics. He's got, you know, he's got all kinds of stuff. So check that page out. Uh, he's got a. Uh, so many good things on that web page and a lot of people in Louisiana them spoons really do well too they catch a lot of big redfish in there very nice and that's let's see that's uh, www.aquadreamliving.com and uh, yes. that's Captain Mike uh, Aqua Dream Living very nice spoons here I love it actually everything they have here is really nice so very good well, I told you it was going to be a great show. Uh, Scott's just a fantastic guy, just a wealth of information on fishing these baits. And I uh, you know Scott's born and raised in Florida, so when it comes to fishing Florida waters, he really knows what he's talking about. So we get some great advice from him. And I sure do appreciate it, Scott. Again, that's impactlures.com. Um, you can check out their product there and also aquadreamliving.com. And you can check out Aqua Dream Spoons. Uh, both of them great products, uh, great engineering, a lot of the uh, thought, design, testing, feedback. Uh, you know, a lot involved in designing and engineering these baits. So uh, when you use them and you talk to a guy like Scott, um, you're really getting information from the people who actually went to the fish. 
Uh, they got on the water, they tested them, they saw what the fish liked and not only what the fish would eat and what they would hit, but what the big fish would hit, what the trophy fish are going to hit. So uh, when you talk to these guys about these baits, all these pro staffers, I mean, they really know their business and I love having these conversations. Coming up with Scott, um, he's doing, uh, he, you know, Scott is a rep for quite a few different companies that he goes out and he tests their stuff. He's a pro staffer. Uh, he does uh, fish quite a few of the tournaments here in Florida and actually around the, around the country. I believe, I believe I heard him say he had one, uh, he was in up in Kentucky. I'm not sure, I gotta check that, but a great guy, uh, really experienced, and uh, so it was a great show. I sure do appreciate it, Scott, and uh, we're going to be back here again. We're going to go over some other baits, some other types of lures, some uh, fish scent, um, also some soft baits, uh, 12 Phantom, um, so you know a lot of more stuff coming up, so check it out. It'll be on Scott's channel, uh, fishyfins.com. Go on the left side of the page, and you'll see Scott Larson's channel, his radio show. Click on it. And you can check out these shows anytime. We keep a history of them there. So you can arrow down and check out the show. We also associate a satellite photo with it. So, uh, you know, if you want to see what water Scott's talking about when he's talking, you can click on that satellite link and uh, check out the waters that he's fishing in. Um, you could also click on the picture and check out a picture of the baits and, and some of the colors we're talking about in the show. And uh, we also actually include a bait shop link where you could open that up while, we're listen while you're listening to the show and uh, purchase some, uh, if you want to purchase an impact lure, you can purchase impact lures right online while you're listening to Scott talk about them. So it's a pretty cool setup and uh, we appreciate everybody tuning in and uh, we'll definitely see you out there, out there real soon. And uh, if you like, I always tell everybody, if you see a guy with a microphone and a camera scooting on up to your boat, I'm not the game warden, I'm not law enforcement, it's just me at fishyfins.com looking for a fish story. So just be cool and give me one. I sure appreciate it and thank you again, Scott. Bye-bye.